That's a myth. A number of studies and research has been carried out to uh, demystify that, that myth. Africa's debt, overall debt, is about 56% of its GDP. Now, if I ask you about debt, say in Europe or in Japan or in America, it's more than 100% of their GDP. Who talks about debt trap in those countries? 近日，“一带一路”国际合作高峰论坛咨询委员会第五次会议在北京举行。与会的非盟委员会前副主席姆温查在接受中新社专访时，用事实和数据驳斥了一些西方国家炒作的中国借合作之机给非洲国家制造债务陷阱这一说法。Africa's debt, majority of it is not from China. It is from other institutions like IMF, World Bank, Eurobond, and that, that narrative. Is a push by those other agencies and countries that are not keen to see programs like Belt and Road Initiative succeed. 二零二三年是“一带一路”倡议提出十周年，非洲是共建“一带一路”的重要参与方之一。在五十三个同中国建交的非洲国家中，有五十二国以及非盟委员会已同中国签署共建“一带一路”的合作文件。在摩温查看来，中非友谊历久弥坚。十年来，双方携手同进，合作不断深化。China and Africa have been cooperating since the Bandung Conference in 1955. Note that the relationship between Africa and China started with the Belt and Road, but this is only enhancing it since it began in 2013.、Uh, Africa has participated in all the events and all the Preparatory work to launch the Belt and Road Initiative. If you look at the economic benefits of cooperation between Africa and China,、uh, that is now being shown in the area of, of trade, in investment, in infrastructure. Under Agenda 2063, Africa is promoting the continent of free trade area because if you look at the trade within Africa, it's very small. It's less than 20 percent. One of the reasons is low quality infrastructure in Africa. Africa is not well connected. And if you look at the Belt and Road Initiative, we are addressing the issue of、uh, ports, railways, roads, and、uh, also promoting finance, agricultural cooperation. If you look at the aspect of、uh, People-to-people -people cooperation. Africa is a major beneficiary of that.、Uh, many African students are now studying in China. These students have got access to some of the best universities in China and are benefiting by developing Africa. Ten years, China-China relations have been on the right track, on a high speed rail line. Looking forward to the next ten years, Mu Wencha believes that Africa's cooperation in climate change, blue economy, and other fields has a wide scope and opportunity. If I start with, say, climate change, it gives us an opportunity, as we develop new cooperation, to green our economies. And we know that China is leading in terms of green、uh, energy, and Africa doesn't have enough、uh, electricity. One can also talk about infrastructure, because at the moment, if you look at energy, of course, is part of it. This is extremely important. To contribute to connecting the African countries, the Belt and Road Initiative. This is a framework that brings all countries to solve these shared issues, like peace and security, like climate change. You cannot solve it individually because these are global issues and can only be dealt with under global agenda. 当前，全球正面临气候变化、地缘冲突等挑战。姆文查认为。世界各国需要在合作共赢的框架下开展工作，携手应对挑战。The Belt and Road Initiative、um, is about common interest and shared future. And given that, Africa believes that、uh, multilateralism is good for everybody because we are one globe. So we must continue to.、Uh, Demystify these、uh, false narrations 
narratives and uh, really create an atmosphere of a win-win, of a common interest and a shared future. Thank you.